Hi there. I'm going to tell you all about the Junior Picture Smart Books, these, which Dan Peters has written for you. He started with writing these, which is the New Testament and the Old Testament of, Junior, of Picture Smart. And we began to hear many calls and requests for the younger children, the little E's, because this is from about age 10 or, or 9, a little bit younger, I suppose. But there wasn't something for the, the little children. I mean, people were taking the line drawings from here and enlarging them and for the little ones to color in while the older siblings were learning, um, while the mother was teaching or dad was teaching from here. But Dan has very kindly written for us the Junior Picture Smart for K to 3, which is now kindergarten to grade 3. That's why it's called K to 3. And it's for the younger children. Um, I would like to, before I go and show you how it actually works, I will just cover some features of the Picture Smart series for you. What they actually contain is biblical history, geography, important verses, major themes of the Bible, for, designed specifically for younger children. Now, it is giving an overview, each illustration is giving an overview of each book of the Bible, whether it's been from New Testament or Old Testament. And the features within are that there's a script written, from kindergarten to grade three level. So the parent or teacher knows what to say to the child and what the child must draw, tell them what to draw. And then there are key characters and key concepts in the introduction. There are also simple crafts in this level. Um, the material used for these crafts is material that you can just find in your home. That is what is a bit different about these to the other picture smart, but I'll come into that a bit later. Then there's simple drawings. And the methodology in the Junior Picture Smart is the same as in Picture Smart, being the see, hear, do method, in which the students are actually coloring in each book of the Bible. Then there's an overview for each book. There's scripture references for further study. There's thumbnail drawings in the parents' book to guide them through the lessons. There's blank margins for your spe special personal notes. There's maps and timelines to show where and when the action occurred. And then there's the Good News Starburst, which highlights Jesus in every Old Testament book. And then there's the How to Teach Tips. So, right, how does it work? You get the parent book, and then you get a student book for each child. You might choose to start with New Testament or Old Testament. If you've just got little children only, then this is where you're going to start. If you've got older children and little children, you're going to ask, how do you incorporate the two together? Well, I'll show you. This is how. You'll do the lesson from this book, uh, reading the script from this book, as is shown in the video clip pertaining to this particular resource. And then you will do the same if you're doing the book of Matthew, for example. You'll do it from here, and then you'll do it from here for the little one. So it is going to take a little bit more time, but both younger and older are going to be learning from both, from you reading aloud from both of them. So it's not a problem. They, they do connect with one another and complement one another. All right, I just want to illustrate how this book, The Picture Smart, and then The Junior Pic Picture Smart work together. Here you've got Picture Smart, and it's showing the Bible, the Word of God, and all the books of the Bible, like I've showed in the Picture Smart clip. And then The Junior Picture Smart will be a very similar illustration, but it's going to have a lot less detail in it, because this is more applicable for the little younger children. So that is how they actually work together. But this particular clip is not about this picture smart. There's another one for that. So I'm going to focus in on this for you today. You might be wondering how it works. Well, this is how it works. Here you have the book of Matthew showing in the illustrated form. And here you have the script that is for you, the parent or the teacher, to read aloud to the children. And it's giving you little thumbnail directions on, on what the child colors in in their book as you read to them. You'll notice, if you're familiar with the other, that this is a much less amount to read as what it is in the, in the older Picture Smart books. But the same theme goes throughout. You've also got your application questions being application to life. What is also included in, the, in this junior series, however, is crafts to do pertaining to this particular book, which are incorporated in here. And as mentioned, it's using everyday household items. You don't have to worry about the materials you need for those crafts. That is an aspect of this picture smart, this junior, junior one, that isn't in the senior picture smart. So just to clarify, you would read the script from here and then from the other picture smart when you're combining older and younger children. 
However, if you've just got the younger children, obviously you're just going to read the script from here and then get them to color in their picture. And then you're going to advance onto the senior, what is known as the senior picture smart books. Now, I'm not going to go into the detail of showing you the exact same repeat here in the Old Testament because it's the same thing. Exactly how it is laid out in New Testament is the same as how it's laid out in the Old Testament. So I do hope that you're going to find the Junior Picture Smart to be just a really helpful resource to help your children understand the books of the Bible. You might be questioning now, you've maybe watched the Proverbs People Book 1 and 2 clip and you'll see a similar sort of theme whereby parent reading scripture and child coloring in. You will see when you go and look at this particular video clip, it's about Proverbs specifically. Whereas Picture Smart is about the entire New Testament and the entire Old Testament. So they can actually both be used because you can do a proverb one day and then you could do the New Testament from Picture Smart another day and so on. And then I'm, in another clip you'll see about the Miller books. And there's just, you're reading a story. And one of them is also very specifically about Proverbs. So how do you know which one to get? Well, you could get a combination and see what works and do some one day and some another. Or you could just decide to focus on the one and when you've exhausted it, you move on to another. I suppose the age is going to matter because these are similar sort of age bracket. And then again, you go up to the, the older book being this one. And now this is a level up from that. And then there's resources to accompany that as far as that age is concerned. But then you've got a variety of age children as well. So now you've got a variety of resources and you just use them as and when and how they fit into your day. That's all I can show you about this picture smart because I don't even have any colored in pages because our children are now adults and this came long after they were grown. We only had picture smart the other book in which we went through a number of times. And so I don't have any actual colored in pages to illustrate this. If you have some that you'd like to share with us, we'd love to have them. And maybe we could put them onto the site and, and help people to see visually what the results of this picture smart is. I hope you're going to enjoy it if you go with it. I know already that a lot of families are benefiting greatly from this resource.